Do you want to build a data warehouse? Let's build a data warehouse along with me as part of this YouTube video. I'm going to build a data warehouse from scratch. So I've taken up a dummy project to build it. This is not a dive deep into a data warehouse. So I'm not going to through the data warehouse theoretical concepts. I'm assuming you are already aware of those concepts and are looking forward to get some hands-on experience. This video is focused purely on the implementation side of the data warehouse. But that does not mean that I'll not be covering the important topics while building this data warehouse. I'm not going to follow bookish language or steps of building a data warehouse as per some famous books. This is purely on my experience basis and what I feel it is simple for the understanding purpose. In my opinion, there are five steps involved while building any data warehouse. First step is business requirements. So you should understand that why data warehouse is required. What are the answers the business is looking for? Second step is analyze the input data. To start with any data warehouse project, you need some source data so that you can build upon that. So you have to go through the existing data, what all sources are available for you and what all kind of data that sources are holding right now. Third step is dimension modeling. So you can start with a conceptual data model, logical data model and then physical data model. As part of this video, I'll be focusing a lot on the physical data model. The fourth step is creating the object based on the physical data model. So we'll create schemas, tables, views as per our requirement. And the last step is we create the load scripts. These load scripts could be an incremental load scripts for our dimension and fact tables. It could be a load script for static tables like date dimensions or time dimensions, or it could be a backfill script. Now all these five steps are not a one way process. These are circular in nature. So it's not like if I have gone through the understanding the data warehouse requirement, I will not go back again to this step. Before we start with any data warehouse project, we do a small POC. And this POC iterates over these steps multiple times. Once the POC is successful and the business sees ROI and they believe that the POC is able to answer their questions and the POC is supporting the decisions, then we can go ahead with the full-fledged data warehouse project. We can add more sources, we can add more subject areas, and then we can scale it to a full-blown data warehouse. 